waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I've got something special for you. I am in Saltwater Aquarium Chicago and we are going to do an unboxing of some of their invertebrates. So let's go join Mark and unbox some inverts. Hey Mark, how's it going? We're going good. It's got one of our shipments in from our divers that's coming out of Florida. So this should have some astrias and some other product that we get every day. We do between three to eight thousand animals a week out wow. of this location. So I just opened up his box, just came in this morning. Everything's shipped next day air. All right, so before we get too far into this, you know, we were talking earlier, you were saying that where you get them from, they do a lot of work before you guys even get them to quarantine them and make sure that they are healthy and good to go? Yes, Don, we get these are all coming out of Florida. Uh -huh. All these things are taken care of by in the facility he has down there. He collects them and keeps them for between a week to two weeks before I even see them. And he has probably an average of about 10,000 on hand at all time. We take between three to 5,000 a week from him. Holy cow. So he's rotating those in every week. He goes diving and collects. That's why all of our stuff here is already been quarantined by him. And we don't overload the bags, as you can see. So everything comes nice and alive. Yes, these I like are, that. These are, I believe these are his scarlets. Right. And there's scarlets in this bag. From this point, when we take them from us, these go, oh, we got some upside down jellyfish in here too. <gasps> oh, look at that. Yeah, you so guys, we came on a good day. Yeah, we did. We got upside down jellyfish. We sell about 30 to 60 of these a week. Wow. On the jellies. But okay, I get to say, if, if you're watching this and you're one of the people that has these jellyfish, send us photos. I want to see some of these yep. guys in your tanks. So we try different methods of shipping. As you can see here, we were shipping with just wet paper towels because for the weight, because the next day air freight, of course, is expensive. But it also, they seem to live fine, but we were just testing because the last couple of weeks ago when we got them in, we think it was because of the heat, we had a very bad um, survive rate. And so we ended up taking the ones we had that weren't looking so good at all. We just pulled them out of the system and kept them separate and didn't sell them. But we tried two different methods, one with just a towel, to ship them and we'll probably start doing some of this too to see which works better when it comes to you in our package. Awesome. You need to get a okay. okay. Now you can explain to me what you're doing here. Hi, Hi. Brian. And now we're going to start unboxing and opening them up and getting them ready to put in our aquariums. All right. So we're going to start by opening the bags, slicing them open. And we're going to put them all in the bins first and then we'll remove the paper towels. All right. And we'll do that one at a time for all of them. Now do all the same species in one bin, right? Yes, all of the same species go into separate bins. So asteroids will go into one bin, scarlets will go into another bin, serrets, everything will go into separate bins. How long does it usually take you to process an order? Um, to from start to finish with a shipment like this, it will probably take me a good hour and a half. All right, pretty efficient. Thank you. In the past, I've worked at local fish stores and fish days always was a long day trying to go through everything. Look at all of these guys. As you can see that they're all alive and healthy. Um, you can see that they do have some good touch response as soon as you touch them. So you can tell that they are alive and healthy. I like that. I'm glad that you mentioned the touch response because that's one way that you can tell is like, if you if you poke them, if they pull back in, you know that they're alive and they're healthy. Correct, and correct. And that's the biggest thing is if all of them showed up, closed up like that, then we would be kind of worried about it. But you can see that as soon as I start opening them up, they're all trying to start moving. And as soon as I touch them, they're already trying to retract. Look at that. That's cool. Now, I gotta say, if we had smell-o-vision, you would be able to smell this, or not really. And that's another good sign, like the fact right. that I can't smell this. It smells kind of like your aquarium would, but it doesn't smell rancid or bad. Correct, you know, correct. I'm sure, like, have you ever opened a bad bag? Oh, of course, <laughs> yeah. The first thing you see is the water will be really dark in color and stuff like that. Immediately, you already know that probably that batch is bad. Yep, but these, these smell great, <laughs> as good as they can. Yep. Okay, now that we have opened up all of these bags, we've put them in the bin, what is our next step? Our next step is we're going to rinse them in clean salt water. So 
So now we have our freshly prepared water that is mixed at 2.5 and we'll add it in slowly. The next step is, is also adding our flatworm X. We put three drops in and we'll let it sit for five minutes. And we'll mix it around. All right. Good. Now we'll be back in five minutes. All right, our timer's still going, but we look close. Starting to move around a little bit. Hey guys. What's cool with is that sometimes they come with sponges or some corals even sometimes like that. That's pretty neat. What do you guys do with them when you uh, find those? Uh, sometimes if there is corals and crusted corals that are growing on them, we will give them to customers. Oh, that's nice. You hear that, guys? Sometimes so, you can get a free piece of coral on it. Those snails that you got that you didn't expect. <laughs> yep. All right, our timer is up. Let's go ahead and get these guys water dumped out and, and uh, put in the fish tank. All right. Now since everything is all good, the salinity is good, temperature was good, everything was matched, have to dump them in. All right. Look at all those. Whoa. Okay, so I have one last question and then I will let you get back to work. As you were dumping things in, if there were any particulates that accidentally got dumped into the water, do you guys have something in place to take care of that? Everything will be caught into our filtration system and be taken care of. Awesome, so just another added layer of protection before these guys go out to people's home tanks. Yep. All right, well thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to uh, show me how you unbox some inverts. Of course. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video of getting to see an order, what it looks like to unbox an order here at Saltwater Aquarium in Chicago. This video is because some of you guys wrote comments and said that this is the sort of stuff that you're interested in. So if there's something that you'd like to see, please leave a comment and let me know. This has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.